because we can we can uh, decide whether one one series uh, converges or, or diverges. Uh, so you know um, we can we can do we can do probably um, some kind of theorem. But I think the, the easiest thing is uh, like look at the, look at the previous uh, previous. Uh, Slide. So what we know is is this this theorem here, yeah? um, and now we would like to uh, use this this uh, family of, of geometric series. We already know how how it behaves, and we would like to use it to to decide to to uh, derive some some kind of like more more general rules. Yeah? So imagine that you have your series A n here. And you uh, would like to compare it to to some some p to n. Yeah. Um, so uh, so there are like um, many many ways how to do it, but if if the series would be like very much like q to n then if we would consider ratio a n plus uh, a n plus one over a n yeah, then this ratio should be roughly q to n plus one over q to n meaning roughly meaning equal 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 q yeah so So something something like this, and, and this uh, this thing here is called is called uh, ratio test. Yeah, and uh, so we can we can think what what we can derive from that. So we will we will look at the ratio, and we will uh, take a look how the ratio is behaving like later in the sequence. So, so basically, what does it mean that we will put limit here because we we do not care about how like starting values we, we, we would like to know how how it tends uh, later uh, closer to the infinity okay so so we, we uh, consider this thing here and this ratio does not have to be defined at all uh, but in in such a case uh, we don't know anything so suppose that uh, this limit exists so there are like several possible things either either it can be like um, so uh, it basically, it will, it will says that that this this thing, if this thing is equal to some um, q, then it behaves almost like q to n. Yeah? So q to n is roughly sum of a n. Um, I like I like emphasize here the word almost because uh, now it is not true. If this would be true, then what we would like to say is that if this q is at least 1, I mean an absolute value of course, then it diverges and if q is smaller than 1 then it, then it converges. Uh, but this is not true and to make the theorem true we need to, we need to erase the equal here. Uh, so, if the absolute value of Q is larger than 1, then it diverges, and otherwise it, it converges here. Okay, so... Um, so, why? Uh, why? Because, um, like, uh, the thing is, we would like to, we would like to, to compare it, and we would like to use uh, one of uh, the, these things. We would like to use this, and um, so we would like to say that after some time, uh, the let's say the terms of of a n if is uh, the an is uh, dominated dominated by by q to n for q smaller than one. 
And if we can say so, then we know that this thing here is converges, and therefore this this also converges. Yeah. Uh, so um, now, if if this uh, limit is is tending to Q, what we know we know that Q is more than one. So one is uh, one is like here, and the limit is equal to some value Q. So uh, what we know is that if we go further and further in the sequence, then what we, what we obtain is that there exists some kind of like epsilon neighborhood around around this Q value that all the terms a a n plus one over a n lie in in this in this area. After some time, maybe skip some some first values like this. Okay. Um, so what we can do here is to pick some kind of um, let's say q prime somewhere here, yeah? and we know that a n plus one over a n is always smaller than q prime. Always after the sum n zero, so uh, we don't really uh, care about about n, n zero, but like after after n zero, so we have some a n zero plus a n zero plus one and and so on. So after some time, this this part of the sequence. Now we don't care about this. This part of the sequence here will be completely dominated by by the uh, geometric series. So this will be dominated by the same thing here plus a n zero plus q times q prime times a n zero plus q prime squared a n zero and and so on. Yeah. These terms will be larger, larger than the previous terms, and because this, this is some something small, and this thing here is nothing else than a and zero times some geometric series, and this this geometric series is converges. Then then this is a times and zero times. Uh, exactly one minus one minus q one over one minus q prime. So so this this is a uh, finite and this uh, this dominates the previous series. So therefore, sum of a n converges. And similarly, if um, if the sum is larger than one. And we can again we, we know that we have some some epsilon neighborhood, and we take some q prime which is which is closer, and now it's it's uh, dominated by some by some diverging geometric series from the below, uh, so so I not exactly dominated is a bad word, it's like uh, it dominates some some geometric series, uh, so it dominates. Q prime to n, and therefore it uh, diverges. And as you can see, we do not have a clue about the situation that, that we are exactly exactly in one. We won't find out uh, how it behaves there because we, uh, basically, if, if the limit is, is a one, then we can't say it's um, it's uh, we can say it's it's, dom it's dominated by by some geometric series here, but this dominating series already diverges, and it dominates some geometric series here, but this geometric series uh, converges. So it does not give us any any useful information. Uh, so in in Q equal one, we don't know anything. So, um, but uh, 
we have to use some some kind of uh, better method or some or clever idea. But but at least at least we know already something. So let me let me show you some examples. So consider series. Let's say mm, n over e to n. And so, uh, like the terms, it, it seems like the, the, the denominator of, of, uh, of this uh, series will be getting larger much, much faster. So, our guess would be that it, that it converges very much likely because exponential is like huge compared to polynomial. But so, how to, how to prove it? And um, we can just use this uh, ratio test. Um, so we will take a look at the limit of a n plus one over a n, meaning n plus one over e n plus one over n over e to n. Now limit should be here, and um, so this this is uh, not not very difficult. Not of the very difficult to calculate. So we will have uh, like two two parts. One part is um, limit of um, n plus one over n times limit of e n plus one over uh, sorry uh, the opposite way um, e two n over e n plus one. So this thing here, we already know that it's division of two, uh, it's fraction of two polynomials, it's fraction of function of two polynomials of the same degree, this is equal to one, and this thing here is going to, uh, to one over e. So this whole limit is one over e, which is smaller than one, therefore it converges. Yeah, so, so this is uh, this is somewhat uh, somewhat a uh, useful way how to how to compute. Um, yeah. On the other hand, if you would, have, for example, take like a reciprocal of the, this thing, so then it then it diverges. I mean, kind of it's pretty much pretty much uh, the same same approach. And this uh, this limit will be equal to e, which is larger than one. Yeah. So. Uh, this gives you. Um, this gives us some some way how to how to uh, decide convergence or divergence in a more general setting. Um, we can also uh, like um, derive a very similar rule. Actually, this like the other other test, which is called root root test, will uh, work um, in exactly the same situation as as the previous ratio test. But like the, uh, the difference is that uh, like uh, root test um, is sometimes easier to compute, and sometimes the ratio test is easier to compute. So we can we can like pick uh, the, uh, one of them which is which is uh, easier for us. And so what does it say? Okay, so suppose that the sum of a n would be roughly q to n. Then if you would take a look at the n root of a n, then it would be roughly q. So we will take a look at this limit. Yeah, and this thing here can have like um, different values. It's exactly as the before. If it's smaller than one, then it converges. If it's equal one nothing, we know nothing, and if it's larger than 1, then it um, diverges. Yeah, so this is something, something like this. And proof of this proof is uh, as before. Exactly the same, exactly the same steps, exactly the same argument, and, and you, will, you will get to the, get the correct result. Okay, so uh, sometimes root test is useful, um, sometimes, sometimes not so much, but like we can we can use pretty much both. Mm, okay, maybe uh, one uh, one test which is probably the, the like the simplest test you should you should use when you when you see some kind of like uh, convergence or some series. What does this do hold? Like um, 
if we if we look at an 